This is the JP News, now in HD. Tonight's features, rally for Trump at the sawmill. Fire at Dairy Circus Restaurant. And house fire on Germania Ave. Okay, this is uh, Jess Petrowin Camcorder News. And we are down here this afternoon at the Sawmill Tavern where they are having a rally for Donald Trump. It's too bad Donald Trump won't be here, but it'll be fun. Can you talk a little bit about, um, so did you organize this biker um, for Trump rally? I'm part of the organizing. Okay. And what made you, can you talk a little bit about the process and, and establishing this for today? Well, gentlemen, done a few bike, <clears throat> done a few bike runs, quite a few all over the country. He come here and he, uh, Come up here, I hooked up with him, Chris. Did you meet Chris yet? I have. Yeah, he's a great, great guy. I've been working hard with him and, uh, just to make it happen. Did he contact you? Did you contact Chris? He, con he, he contacted me. Come here, come up here from Florida. Yeah. And, and we've been, uh, I've been working real hard with him. You see what some of what we've done here, done quite a bit, and we got to get all the people we can get together. And, and we want to help the country out because I think we're in trouble. I know. I mean, Ford's moving down to Mexico, and GE's moving stuff out of here all the while, and every, I think everybody's kind of scared, and it's scaring, it's scaring those people. We lose a lot of, a lot of employment. And I, I've done manufacturing for years. I built trains, built all the buses for CDTA, New York City, up on Hillside Avenue, and built locomotives over to Super Steel. A good manufacturing life. I hate, hate to see you go. Mm. And can you just talk a little bit about why you feel uh, Trump would remedy these issues in the country? <clears throat> well, I think Trump would. And Trump's got to get his organization together. Got to get. You no, know, you can't do everything yourself. Got to have a lead guy here, lead guy there. Like when I run run plants, I didn't run them all myself. And people feel uncomfortable and doing the right thing. And that's. I think he'll do the same thing. Mm. When When did you know that you were a Trump supporter? Uh, about a week ago. Yeah. yeah. Was that when Chris contacted you, or yeah, you yeah. knew beforehand? Yeah, we've been working at it hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I like Trump. Mm -hmm. I just hope he uh, hope he makes it. I mean, everybody's beating him up. Everybody's after him. Mm -hmm. Everybody from Obama, Hillary, right on down the line. Everybody, his own his own party. I really think they are. But we'll see what he does. And what? Are you hoping that today's rally, having bikers for Trump here today, is going to help? Um, well, do you think it's going to help any non-Trump supporters? What do you hope oh, to see it do I, in this I, community? I think, I think it'll help the non-Trump supporters. I want to see what we're doing. We ain't doing it for no money or no nothing. I, I worked that's worked my hard. I put a, put a lot of money in this myself. But uh, I don't want nothing back. Say hi, Mitch. Hi, is you a Trump supporter there? He's like, I love Trump. You got your Trump t-shirt? Poppy. Hi, baby. Yeah. There we are. There we are. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Yeah. Sure. We all signed back of it. Close. Close. I'll back up. <laughs> I'm making him nervous, I think. You're beautiful! Thank you! You're beautiful! <laughs> I've never heard anything come out like this. <laughs> up here. Anyway, I'm bringing my brother Joe Roy up here soon. <laughs>
I've got every, every tank load I need to drive me crazy. I've got every, every tank load I need to lose my mind. But that's how I need it. I'm just sitting, child's with his heart. To be the president of behind him and represent Bikers for Trump across the nation, we're going to have you sign up. We're going to need your email address, your full, your first and your last name, your home address, and your phone number. If you can give us those, then we can get you a seat from what we're being told, and the Bikers for Trump can have a presence at the campaign uh, rally tomorrow with Donald Trump. And now we're... We are prepared to serve as uh, some backup security if needed as a result of the paid protesters are out there. Um, we don't really see, think that's going to be necessary because uh, we've got a pretty good police force here in Albany, from what I understand, and Secret Service. They, they've dealt with this a couple times, and um, where we're going to be on, on guard and we're going to be on, on call. We're going to go in there and go inside this event and have a good time. And um, if uh, for any reason the protesters are there, um, they're really not going to want to stand up to the bikers because bikers aren't, um, we're just not used to sitting around tolerating a lot of civil disobedience. And um, it's about as un-American as you can get to have people uh, pay protesters. But anyway, we're going to get this going. Peter, where are you at, Peter? And I would like to say an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask, uh, first we thank you for this great day. We thank you for the camaraderie of everybody here, for the great work that Chris is doing, that Don Birch does, and to bless all the bikers and safe travels every day, and that in this election season, that everybody has the wisdom, has the patience, and the understanding to listen to all the candidates, and to ultimately make that decision who they feel in their heart is going to do the best for you, for our country, and for our families. Amen. 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 Uh, as Chris had said, um, I'm part of the Schenectady County Republican Committee. Tomorrow we got a big rally for Donald Trump that's going to be at the Times Union Center. Ted Cruz was here last week. John Kasich is going to be up in Saratoga. And the most important aspect of this election is that everybody gets out to be as important as possible to vote for the candidate who they think is the best candidate in this general election to run against Hillary Clinton in November to espouse the Republican ideals of less government, family, faith, small business support. Donald Trump started speaking 
And uh, like everybody, I listened. And it really, really hit home. Everything that he said was what I was thinking. Everything that he did is what I would have done. He made a few mistakes along the way, and I'm sure he's going to make a few more. But then I look at the past. I look at the past eight years. We've gone totally backwards. We are no longer a united people. He has divided us. I don't care if you are African American, if you're Hispanic, if you're white. He's divided us. And we're all one. Every one of us. Uh, I hear a lot of speak uh, talking about uh, Donald Trump, uh, not the women not liking him. I got to tell you, I'm married to a woman for 51 years. Uh, I don't dare say anything bad about Trump to her. She'll rip my head off. <laughs> but let's get down to the basic, to, to what really is going on in this country. We, as Republicans and as people, the Republican Party said, Give us the Congress, and we'll fix this. We gave them the Congress. Give us the Senate, and we'll fix this. They haven't fixed the damn thing. We can't wait for them to come here. We got to go there and take care of business. They're already here, and they're already among us. So we got to stop the bickering between ourselves, and we got to concentrate on the people who are trying to hurt us. And we know who that is, because we're not retarded. We can say it. With radical Islam, these guys are out for us. And they want, they've got a plan for each one of us. If you're an infidel, then wear that tag proudly. It's a badge of honor. Bikers all over the country are, are identifying themselves as Christians when otherwise they may not have. But they're going back to the roots of their grandfathers and the ideology there because they see that the, 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 the Muslim, that, that, that sign of jihad is worn so proudly. So they're not doing anything but making us stronger. Just like everybody that goes against Donald Trump, they make him stronger. Because the more resistance he gets, the better he becomes. And the more people that jump on his side. And we're not gonna expect, we're not gonna accept anything less than the will of the people being heard. So if we get a fair shot, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna take it like it, we're gonna pick up what they're laying down. But if we don't, they can expect us to rise up and they're not gonna like, what, what they see because we are going to stand by our guy and we're not going to accept anything less. But at the risk of being long-winded, because I know bikers got a short attention span, I learned that the hard way in Virginia. So hey, thanks for everybody coming out. Listen, we need everybody's phone number, email address, and uh, first and last name so we can sign you up to go to Donald Trump's rally tomorrow and have a Bikers for Trump uh, presence there and the VIP seats right behind them. So thanks for showing up. You're welcome to take a yard sign. Uh, we got bumper stickers up front. And uh, we can't say enough about Don Birch. He's just, uh, what a legend he is and what a pleasure it's been to meet everybody here. And thanks everybody. Keep an eye out for Bikers for Trump. If you haven't liked us on Facebook, please do. Take care. Hello, Governor. How you doing, man? You look like a Trump supporter. Look at Mike. Right here. Sit, Chubby. Good boy. He wants to take a picture. Chubby, sit. Oh, hi. Come here, Chubby. How are you, Chubby? Come on. Chubby the dog. Good boy. Chubby the dog. You like Schenectady, you like Donald Trump, you like the sawmill, right? Yeah. Yeah, my, my uh, daughter's dog and my dog got together accidentally and Chubby was one of the products. Oh, oh, oh nice. Nice. Because I only left them together. How are you? You like everybody, do you? You're such a good subject. You're such a good subject. 
on the here. Yeah, okay. there's, there's not enough room to get it on the inside, on the ground, with the grind. Uh, yeah, I don't like cats. Yeah, I mean, I, I love cats, but I'm allergic to them, you know. It's like, uh, you know, I, I go to my daughter's house, I go to my girlfriend's house. And, uh, <laughs> Can, may I ask you how you think this day has been today? It's been a great day. Yeah. And have you got any thoughts on um, the presidential candidates or Donald Trump or anybody? No. No. I don't have Absolutely any not. opinion on that. On All right. That's okay. That's, I can tell uh, you I, I like to see my granddaughter. Okay. Yeah. That's well, I, I do say. too. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. All I can say. That's, stay, that's staying safe and neutral. Okay. okay yeah. That's cool. <laughs> safe and neutral, right? That's me. Safe and neutral. No, thank you. It's a little Okay. This is the Jess Petrovic camcorder news and there is an awful lot of smoke over here and I've just been told I'm over by Lincoln Elementary School and the smoke is everywhere. It is really bad and I've been told that Dairy Circus is on fire and I can, I'm having trouble breathing right now. Okay there's just been a shift in the wind but as we look down this way all the smoke is heading toward that Lincoln Elementary School where I'm parked. A big flume of smoke. I am slowly getting closer. Uh, this is another angle of Dairy Circus. Dairy Circus is on fire and it's, it's unfortunately it's been burned out. I just spoke to the owners, thank God they're okay and everybody got out. Another angle here. Dairy Circus is having water poured on it. Uh, the high school is right across the street.
As we zoom in on this window, I don't have the best telephoto zoom in the world, but uh, you can see flames inside this window. It was giving off a very big, thick blanket of smoke, which could be seen from Erie Boulevard. And there's still a lot of smoke coming from this inferno. Oh, in the upper uh, right-hand corner here, we can see the little bit of flame happening here. More flame is happening, I should say. Another view of this house fire. Um, I'm pretty certain that there uh, was not any occupants of this house. According to the police scanner, it was uh, a vacant building. What the hell are you looking for in that dumpster? Good God, what the heck are you doing? I'm telling you, people are getting weirder all the time. What, did you lose a lotto ticket in there? Oh my God. Um, this is the April 4th snowstorm of 2016. And it's pretty well coated. There's only been about two or three inches, but 